Only a select few people have had the opportunity to witness Earth live from space. And of those people, it's said that it's always had a profound effect. Now, with EarthCast, everyone will be able to witness Earth live from space in HD video and down to one meter resolution. This is going to affect more than the individual. It's going to affect Earth. What we're doing at EarthCast is we are putting the world's first high-definition continuous video camera on the International Space Station. So we've signed a deal with the Russian Space Agency whereby we're going to take two of our cameras and they're going to mount them on the outside of the International Space Station. The video will then be downlinked and broadcast onto the internet. It's going to be a bit of a blend between Google Earth and YouTube. When you look at Google Earth, you're basically seeing static images. What you're seeing with us is you're seeing an image of the Earth scrolling by. So you'll be able to fast forward, pause, skip, rewind. You'll be able to tag those videos. So if you go to it, you'll be able to tag a little segment of, this is my house in Calgary. This is, you know, this is the sports event. This is the wedding. This is some of the stuff that I did with my friends. The cameras are being built by a UK company which is called Rutherford Appleton Labs and they're providing the actual lens. Now they're a UK space agency company and they've done about 200 space missions. We've also engaged with a company out of Richmond which is called McDonald Detweiler and they're Canada's premier space company. They build a Canada arm, they've done a lot of work with the Russian Space Agency and they're going to provide some of the software as well as some of the project management behind the engineering process. Imagine Google Earth on steroids. Live, HD video, one meter resolution, 24-7 recording. It has the ability to capture political, environmental, economic, or sporting events at potentially any given time. Our cameras are scheduled on a space launch for later this year, and we anticipate EarthCast to go live in the spring of 2012. We have exclusive content. We have the first view of Earth as events are unfolding, and we have the largest potential audience in history.